Hey guys, this is Ring from the Ring. Welcome back to my channel. The channel, if you're new here, is all about traveling, good food, and today we have a motorcycle as well. That's right. This channel has a lot of motorcycle content. So if you know, if you like motorcycles, you found the right channel. <laughs> so through the years, I've been riding a lot of different motorcycles, and I've noticed a phenomenon. Well, not maybe not a phenomenon, but I've noticed that I might have became a loner or the proper way of putting this is probably am I like the only one and you might be like um, am I the only one what well I just want to know if I am the only one that likes to ride alone and also I like to know if I'm the only one that likes to ride all sorts of motorcycles because I definitely like riding anything with two wheels and you probably already heard me mention that anything that has two wheels including bicycles, BMXs, mountain bikes, whatnot I just love I have no idea why I've seen a few guys who've expressed the same type of uh, mentality that they were born and then they fell in love with motorcycles and that's pretty much my story by the time I was about six or seven I knew I like motorcycles like motorcycles specifically bicycles I liked after when I was in maybe high school but motorcycles has always been a part of my life it's always been part of me pretty much now you might hear this bike sounding odd to some of you or to most of you um, to people in Toronto drive pretty nutty <laughs> as you saw but as long as you take care of yourself just make sure that you pretend everybody around you in a vehicle is a nut you'll be a lot safer that way doesn't matter who they are I got a few chores to take care of and we're gonna go do that right now so this bike may sound odd to you but it sounds like music it's music in my years I love the way how it's RPMs are not exactly what you hear most of the time these days on uh, FI bikes and as you could see wow autumn riding although like today is many times a wet day but the leaves and the foliages around you even in town is just so pretty and mesmerizing that riding in fall riding in close to winter season is always a pleasure not that riding itself is not always a pleasure it is most certainly is let's see if i got a space way up in front no i don't I don't think so but anyways so anyways I'm gonna put my bike right here put it in first gear So my first chore for the day is going to the bank and for that even if it's broad daylight I like to lock my forks check that out looks like I'm back in the 90s or something <laughs> it's so awesome finish my first chore here on Young Street as you can see Young Street's all shops and people though in the fall there are less and then there will be nobody in the winter <laughs> that's how life in North America is at least in the uh, northeastern part of North America so this bike seems like it's starting up okay now that uh, it's been sort of not tuned because I'm not a tuner but it's been ran 
a few days now it's not exactly in awesome condition or anything but it's uh okay because i'm still trying to tune it so that it'll sound like a real oh v-twin you know all those ones where they're about to stall any second although actually this bike stalls any other second <laughs> Oh man, today seems like a busy day. Cops doing U-turn trying to catch some bad guys and you know people rushing across the road when you still got 16 seconds. No real point to rush. Uh, but it's turning out to be a nice day and I don't think I'm dressed properly for it. I'm dressed for a colder season. Okay, I'm gonna go in the transition moment. I'm glad the wet roads are sort of drying up so we're gonna head to my second shore but in between that i'm gonna continue talking to you guys about the fact that i feel like i'm a loner in many aspects well the first thing i want to talk to you about me being a little different and alone in this aspect is that i like to ride alone <laughs> that's right and i say that with the background of having written with other people um, not a lot of times this thing is about to stall any second I like the sound but I don't want to bother people by holding them up back to the point of me being pretty much a loner and that I like to ride alone I like to ride alone um, because well, you're the boss then, right? You don't have to pit stop when you don't want to. You don't have to put gas in your tank when you have a full tank. Um, you don't have to stop whenever you don't want to stop. And you stop whenever you want to stop. Or go eat when you want to go eat. And, you know, I mean all that sort of stuff. Where when you group ride, when you ride in a group of any sizes, anytime there's more than two. I'd imagine um, it should be considered a uh, group ride and I don't really enjoy that um, at least I can't remember the last time I really enjoyed riding with a lot of other people compared of course to when I ride myself like now there might be a lot of younger guys who actually like to just ride outright super top speed top and rpm at its max all the time on their rides that's not me it's not for me i like to mellow chill out and of course bikes like these um or like my springer they're best written when you're going at a mellow pace A sports bike you could still go at a reasonable pace um, and you don't have to go bring it all out so I feel like I'm alone in the fact that I like to ride at my own pace or you know meaning you gotta ride alone guys don't you just love when leaves are like falling everywhere when you're riding it's so pretty that's the best way to enjoy it is ride and be one with the environment I mean, even a convertible will not give you the same sort of feeling that you get from riding a bike. Which is why I ride one. <laughs> but I just ride one alone. <laughs> Anyways, the other thing that I want to talk about me being a loner in, or I'm, I'm alone in that respect, is I ride all sorts of bikes. A lot of guys, I don't know, maybe it's a YouTube thing that is confusing me at least they feel i feel like that a lot of people like they just ride sports bikes or they just do cruisers or they are doing cross the country road trips on tour bikes um i love all sorts of bikes and i enjoy riding them and the way that they're designed to be written when you know like a sports bike and i'll ride a little bit faster of course uh, and then when it's a cruiser i'll just take my time and just irritate the people behind me and then when i'm touring 
I try to go as far as I can just you know because that's what they're meant for and you enjoy it more when you use the tool for what its intended purpose were at least I feel that way now I'm getting the hang of opening my visor and also a clear visor at that and letting the wind hit my eyes maybe I'll get used to it and then later on I'll get an open face to enjoy more of the environment which is like pretty cool when it's not freezing in fact the weather today is actually even better than the day when I got this bike delivery I saw the video um, last last week or something but anyways my previous video if you haven't seen it I'll put a link to the video here and check it out so right now my choke is pretty much pulled out 90% and my ideal um, RPM range is to actually make it real slow but you know with the choke in which is the proper way to have your bike set up So back to the point where I feel like I'm alone in that I like to ride all sorts of bikes in the way that they were meant to be written. It's weird. Uh, I don't I don't talk smack about sports bike when I'm on a touring, and then I don't talk about how touring bikes are big hogs when I'm on a sports bike. I mean they're awesome in what they do and you know enjoy it that way, and it's all good. Now the only stipulation is um, a lot of people get really cramped up or at least their back start feel like they're gonna fall apart when they ride a sports bike for more than half an hour some people maybe an hour and I've heard people talk about them not being able to ride a sports bike although they really love the sports bike type of motorcycles they cannot ride it for more than an hour and they keep on buying it and then they sell it because I don't know this they can't ride it and they, 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 I mean, they swear they cannot go like, for the whole day. And when I ride, um, I usually, like when I'm out for a ride, I ride the whole day, you know, to enjoy your bike. You want to go tour on it, like you want to go ride far away on it. That's the best way to enjoy a motorcycle um, to me. So. so that's what's sad for some folks who like to ride sports bikes but their body will ache after a little bit of riding and so that brings me to my other point of me being alone is that I, I pretty much fit a lot of bikes different types of bikes different sizes of bikes I feel like that my body type the way it's structured uh, the proportions of it of my limbs they allow me to fit a sport bike pretty well there is not a sport bike that I feel very uncomfortable with that I would not take out for let's say 400 mile ride or 500 mile ride I think that I am able to or at least my past experience has told me so that I could ride a whole day on a sports bike in almost any sports bikes that I've had mostly Pank Alleys, the big four to four Japanese I've written them, the M, the R1M, you know and the only one I haven't owned, which I'm looking forward to is a double R, the 10 double R which is finally being released in next year's model in Canada 2024 grateful that I can fit in a lot of different bikes and not feel uncomfortable with riding it for um, many hundred miles I'm really grateful for that um, a lot of people just cannot fit a sports bike
So this is my next chore to get some gas. That's right. But I just realized I don't want to get Esso. So I'm going to go somewhere else. Don't know where. I'm just going to keep riding until I see a gas station that appeals to me. <laughs> In fact, I might do my uh, RPM thing right now. Let's see if I could push my choke in a little and not stall it. Let's try that. Let's see if um, I'm going to start uh, stalling on the road. Oh, I might, I might stall before I get to the road. So I'll pull it back out a bit. Yeah, today I don't feel like blocking <laughs> other cars, which, well, I never do. Let's see where I want to get some gas. If you guys, like, you know, leave in the comments and tell me. I mean, do you guys feel like that your body type fits all sorts of motorcycles just like mine and can you ride for many hundred miles without feeling any aches on a sports bikes i mean i'm talking about like a leader sports bike not like a 400 like i mean all out leader bikes can you ride them for more than four or five hundred miles per day um i know a lot of you can but i just i recently i just heard people talk about um, how they cannot so they're sort of like stuck with uh, cruisers which is unfortunate because I mean every different type of motorcycles have different things to offer you that I find you know very interesting it's good to ride different types of bikes you get different experiences and you get to uh, learn more from riding different bikes You know, today I don't feel like. Oh, look at this! This is so pretty. Well, at least I think it's quite pretty. We're not in New England, a little north of that, but it's still pretty when the leaves are all turning color. Just riding slowly on the roads where there are leaves flying everywhere. It's just so awesome. You don't actually have to go too far up north for us here. Uh, to get some sort of foliage viewing on your motorcycle you get them right here in the city <laughs> well, anyways as I uh, continue on riding to get more gas I'll sign off now and I'll talk to you guys in the next one thanks for watching this video of mine if you like my video remember to comment like and share if you think my contents are pretty good do consider subscribing to my channel I'll talk to you guys later in the next one